first saw Star Wars in the theater. Summer of 1977. I was 13 years old. Four years old. The Star Destroyer flew over and I looked at my mom and said, will you come bring me to see this again? We watched it every single day. Nothing will stand in our way. The Force Awakens. It's huge. Gets released on December 18th. The night that the trailer came out, I think I watched it about 25 times. We're home. It brought a tear to your eye. These are the characters you grew up with. On a scale of one to 10, it's probably about a thousand. For me to share this with, with my kids, it's amazing. I'm a very huge fan. Big enough of a fan that I have tattoos dedicated to Star Wars. I have made a few purchases. Oh, absolutely, you had all the toys. I don't have a lot more room left. Probably the most important thing, well, work and Star Wars are right there together. Here to maintain law and order in the galaxy. I'm in a group called the 501st Legion. Vader's Fist of the Galactic Empire. It's a worldwide costuming group over 8,000 members. We raise a lot of money for different charity organizations. We create our own costumes. Hundreds and hundreds of hours. Most of them are handmade. We wanna make sure that our costumes are of the same quality as the movie costume. It's about 70 pounds. So I'm wearing four layers. Very hot, very heavy. You just have to learn how to sweat. It can take its toll on you after a couple, two, three hours. Star Wars fandom in its finest. When you tell someone that you dress as Chewbacca on the weekends, the first thing they do is go, you're crazy. <laughs> And they like to rib you for it, call you a nerd or a geek. I get to dress as plastic spacemen on the weekends for charity work. When they hear that aspect, they get a newfound respect. We don't get paid for what we do. The most rewarding thing that we do is we go and visit kids. You walk into a, a hospital room where there's a sick child. You see the pain. You must recover quickly because the Empire needs your service, okay? And it doesn't just affect the kids. Hospital troops are some of the toughest. It's the reason why I get in the costume. Oh. I've had parents tell me that that's the first time their child smiled in a month. They brighten the day. They make him think about things other than sickness. So they're true superheroes. We're what you call the bad guys doing good. Hi. You walk through that door, you've got a six foot six Vader, and you're walking in there and you're stormtrooper, you're biker scout. It's very rewarding. Oh, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing when you see that smile for the first time. The child just lights up and smiles, you know, it's, it's great. For that brief moment, they forget the pain. It's worth millions. You say bye? Until you created that smile, doing what you love to do, that's when it touches your heart. Thank you for coming. This movie is going to be the birth with an entirely new generation. We need some young blood coming in. Yeah, ooh! The more people we have available, the more impact we can make on the community. So if we get more people, all the more reason that we can go out and, uh, and fulfill more smiles.